on you. Welcome to Rayla International Ministries, where our pastor and founder is the Apostle Dr. Irene Bell. We welcome you to come on in. Come on in. There is a word from the Lord. We would like to say happy 4th of July. We know that the sparkles and the fireworks are going to be going up. So it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. We expect God to do a boomerang this morning. We expect God to do some explosion this morning. And we expect God to give us victory. We ask that you go ahead and press that share button. Press the share button right now. Some of you all, we be saying it, we be typing it in. Press share. S-H-A-R-E. Share. Press that button because there is a word from the Lord and we don't want to be selfish this morning. We want to share the word of God. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, as we come before you this morning, we want to tell you thank you. We thank you for everything you have done, everything you are saying, and everything that you are about to say, God. We thank you, oh God, that we have victory in our house this morning. We thank you we have victory in our bodies this morning. We thank you, almighty King, for your glory, which will fill every room, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, almighty King, for waking us up this morning, clothing our room right mind, God. We thank you for being the head of our life. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, now, God, we ask that you shift the atmosphere, God. Uh, we ask that you take it to another dimension, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for looking at us this morning and finding favor, oh God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we thank you for your anointed power that destroys every yoke, God. We thank you, almighty King, uh, that you are looking, God, uh, that you may bless us indeed. Uh, we ask that you enlarge uh, our territory this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we thank you almighty King uh, that we come to give you praise. Uh, we come to give you honor. We come to give you worship this morning. Uh, we ask that you move like never before. We ask that you speak through the vessel this morning and pull everything out of our God uh, that needs to go forth uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we ask that you let her God uh, hear the amens this morning. Uh, let her hear the clapping God. Uh, let let her hear the footstep in God in the mighty name of Jesus. We come now, Almighty King, and we pray against enemies, God. We pray against warlocks, God. We pray against Satan in the mighty name of Jesus that he will not come, God. Now our dwelling. We ask, Almighty King, that you put your mighty hands on each and every one, God, that's sick this morning. We thank you, Almighty King, that you said you went to the cross. For our healing this morning, uh, and by every stripe, Almighty oh God, uh, we are healed. Uh, we're not gonna keep saying it, God, uh, but we're gonna see manifestation. That poor in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we said manifest, oh God, uh, manifest your glory, uh, manifest your healing, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we come against principalities, uh, spiritual wickedness, God, uh, that sit in high places, uh, that come in your name this morning. God. We come against it, God. Uh, we tear down the Leoseke, uh, every stronghold, uh, that poor Rabbi Sheke, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we tear down everything uh, that comes to exalt itself. Uh, but have you not in mind, God, uh, that poor Rabbi Sheke, uh, we come against it this morning. God. We war in the spirit uh, that victory be ours, God. Uh, we war in the spirit uh, that we God, huh? we have a sound mind. Huh? We come this morning, oh God, huh? for everything, God, huh? that will come disturb huh? our atmosphere this morning. Huh? We call it cancer this morning. Huh? It's not delayed huh? or denied huh? for our victory this morning. Huh? Victory is our portion. Huh? In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we say, stir it up now, God. Uh, pluck up the eyes of the enemy uh, that come to search us this morning. Uh, order our steps this morning. Uh, because of a good man and a good woman, uh, your servants are faithful this morning. Uh, they're not seeking your uh, to be evil and manipulative. Uh, we ask that you judge your uh, those that come in your name uh, but mean you nothing this morning. Uh, we ask that you judge it now, God, uh, and pull up your uh, Those true vessels 
vessels of God. Pull up your lips, say, hey, those honorable vessels of God this morning. Protect thy servants. Don't let the enemy, oh God, that mean nothing to you. Hey, Korab, say, hey, keep getting all the spoils, but give the spoils, oh mighty king, to your servants this morning. We ask that you take over then, God. We take over, God. We take over, God. Let us see, God, some of your manifestation on this earth this morning. We ask that you let us, oh God, see your blessings this morning. Let us, oh God, those that live, God, righteous, God, we've already suffered for your name's sake this morning. Let us see, oh God, complete healing, complete finances, poverty be gone. Tell you thank you. Oh my shanda. Kendi yo see nana di asha. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. My God. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, we thank you this morning for the gifting and the power of the Holy Ghost. And thank God as he moved and grooved through the prayer, amen, praise God, Pastor William, amen. We thank you this morning. God knows the heavens, amen, praise God, as they remain open, amen, praise God. And we're under an open heaven. We want to tell the Lord, thank you, amen, for the prayers of the righteous man avail us much. That God has an ear, amen, God has a spirit of an ear to hear us. And he said he would answer us, amen, praise God, according to his word. Yes, and we want to tell the Lord thank you this morning for his word. We want to tell the Lord thank you this morning for his goodness, his kindness, his mercy, amen, and his mercy is everlasting. We want to tell the Lord thank you this morning for somebody, amen, that got up, amen, and you didn't realize, amen, praise God, you have your good health and strength. And before you complain, tell the Lord, thank you, Jesus. This is a good morning. This is a good morning. This is a good morning. You got up, amen, to see another day's journey. And we tell the Lord, thank you. We appreciate the prayer, amen. The anointing of the Lord, amen, has risen upon us. It has risen upon us. And we tell the Lord, thank you, amen, praise God, as the prayers, amen, the prayers, the prayer, and the prayers goes out, amen, with strength, power, and deliverance. And we tell God, thank you, amen, this morning. Glory to the Lamb of the Living God. We certainly appreciate every one of you that have come on this morning. We appreciate, amen, praise God, that the day is the 4th of July. According, amen, to the human calendar, we tell the Lord, thank you, amen, praise God, for allowing us to see this Fourth of July, amen, praise God. And those of you who take it not robbery, amen, praise God, to get up and give God just a little bit of your time this morning, amen, because somebody didn't wake up this morning to see this day, amen. And so many are grieving, amen, praise God, over the fact that they lost loved ones on this day, amen, praise the name of God. And we want to tell the Lord, thank you for us, amen. And I'm not being biased or selfish, amen, praise God. Or amen, uncaring, but thank God for being amongst the living and not amongst the dead. We are certainly appreciative, amen, for all of you that are coming on, amen. We changed our time, and praise God, those that will miss it, amen, they missed it, amen. But those of you who are on, you're on. We thank the Lord for you. Thank God for all of our visitors. We want to tell the Lord, thank you for you coming on, just peeking in. Some might just peek in, amen. Thank you for peeking, amen. Praise the name of the living God. And we want to tell the Lord thank you for all of our leaders. Amen. This morning, our Bishop Harvey. Amen. Our husband, Brother Nate. We appreciate you and love you so much. We appreciate Pastor Barbara Jackson. Amen. Praise God. The prophetess of Amen. And I would say of this universe, truly a sharp king. Amen. Very sensitive to the spirit of the living God. Amen. Praise God in our office. Amen. And we tell the Lord thank you for her, for our pastor. Amen. Dr. Latonya Walker, our children church pastor. And to Amen. Praise God. None other than Pastor. Amen. To one of William, our youth pastor. We love you. Amen. And we thank God for all of you, our elders. Amen. Our mothers. To you this morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is a great timing of God to all of those, amen, praise God of you who come to bless this house. We thank you. We're located in the great city of Macon, Georgia, amen, praise God. And we are certainly, amen, happy that you came, amen, to sit, amen, and enjoy the Lord. Whatever, wherever you are, you don't have to get all dressed up. You can just lay right there in your bed, just lie there, amen, turn over and listen to the word of the Lord. And this is one thing I'm going to tell you something. God has fixed it, amen, that some of us don't have to do nothing but turn over. And amen, you don't have to go to work. Those of you who are not working today, all you need to do is just turn over in that bed and click your phone. Amen. The same way you can chitty chat with your friends. Come on, chitty chat with God. Come on, have, amen, some time with the Lord this morning. We thank God for all.
all of you. And we bless God in his holy name. I want to speak to you if the Holy Ghost said the same this morning. Praise God. Because this is what I believe the hour has been set. Amen. Praise God. As we go into our next week and, 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 and talk about some things. Amen. I want to talk to you today. This is good. This is good for you. This is good healthy, nourishing food with no click schism and ism. It's just the true fact of the word of the living God. I want to talk to you from the book of Genesis, amen, one, and I'm going to hit the fifth chapter, fifth verse, amen, and I'm going to be jumping, amen, five, and I'm going to hit eight, then I'm going to hit 13, and I'm going to hit 14 through 19, but they're very little, amen, praise God, and if I don't, you'll know, amen, praise God, and I'm still talking in that same particular, amen, text of the scripture. But I want to talk to you in that and amen as we go forward this morning. The book of Genesis 1 and 5. 1 and 5. And God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were, were the first. Let's skip over amen praise God to the 8th verse. And it said and God called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day. Yes. The evening and the morning was the second day. Let's see if we can jump over to 14 and see what he said about his creation. In that 14th verse he said, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmaments of heaven yes. to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons. Y'all better catch that. And for days, days and years. Y'all need to hear this this morning. That is the amen, praise God. Let me back up just a little bit and hit that 13th verse. And he said, and evening and morning were the third day. The evening and the morning were the third day. And then, then we go to, amen, let's read on down to the 15th. And we're going to come dig until we get to the 19th. Amen. And let them be the lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. It was so. Yes. A lot of people don't understand. Where you get that from? It comes from the Bible and it is so. It is so. He said, and it was so. And God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light, le lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of heaven to give the light unto the earth. And to rule over the day and over the night. And to divide the light from darkness. And God saw and it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth Day. I'm going to read that 19th verse just, uh, j just one more time for you. Period in your leisure. And the evening and the morning were the first, were the fourth day. The evening and the morning. I want to tell you this this morning, amen, as I was, amen, praise God. Hallelujah, something is going on here. Okay. And he said, I am the first and I am the last. The big, the, and besides me, there is no God. Besides me, there is no God. Amen. Genesis starts off telling us that the evening, listen to me good, the evening and the morning were the first day. Yes. Were the first day. Now I want you to hear me. The evening and the morning was the what? The first day. It was the first day. The very first day was the evening and the morning. Now listen to me. Now I, I might sound, and, and Pastor Jackson is going to laugh at me because she always tells me I'm a little weird and amen and strange, but amen, and I'm not human sometimes, and I'm, I look at her, but I'm going to say this, Pastor Jackson. I'm going to say this. I, and I want you to hear me. I, I'm, I'm going to read this slow because I want somebody to get this. Now, to me, it seems like it should have been reversed. Yes. The morning and the evening being the first. Yes. That's what it seemed like to me. The morning should have been first and then the evening. But he said evening and morning. That's what he said in every scripture that I read. He said and the evening and the morning. 
Then he said this was the fourth. The last chapter that we read it was the fourth. But God started the day in the dark. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. At 12 a.m. Nothing looks any different from 9 a.m. Darkness. 12 o'clock a.m. Darkness. If you did not have a watch, you wouldn't know you've entered a new day. Mm. Mm. You wouldn't know it. It's still dark outside. Looks the same as it did 9 o'clock at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, there's no sign that something has changed. 9 o'clock, dark. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Now watch this. But when the clock strikes midnight, in that one second when nothing looks any different, goes from p.m., listen to me, to a.m. <laughs> now it's a new day. It would make more sense if God, y'all better hear me, started the day in the light when the sun came up at 6 o'clock or 7. Now I'm just talking, this just me talking now, y'all. This just me talking. I know some of y'all would say, what in the world? Yeah, looked like he would have started it up between 6 and 7 in the morning. When the dawn breaks, the light comes. Uh-huh, 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 the light comes. Then it's obvious we would know it's a new day in the human sense, in the human mind. We can see it. Yeah, yeah. That's the way most of us operate in what we physical see. Things have now changed. We hear the birds chirping. The sun comes up over the horizon. We have all this evidence that we've entered into a new day. We got evidence. That we've entered into a new day. But on purpose, God chose to start the day in the dark. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. God starts the day in the dark. It's symbolic to how he does things in our lives. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's symbolic. It's a spiritual thing of how he does things in our lives. In the book of Genesis 2 and 5, it's in every plant. Of the first feet of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb if the field, amen, in the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to tilt the ground. Now listen at God. This was this was something that I, I kind of threw in there. He said, Amen, praise God, in every plant of the field before it was in the earth. So uh, I'm trying to figure out was the plants laying on top of the earth? Uh-huh. Or was it in the earth? How, how was God doing this? It, it, everything was on top. He had a touch. Oh, he had not no, no, no. He had not he had not put it in there yet. Ah, shot. The Holy Ghost had not come upon, had not come in them, it came upon them. It sat on them. Look at God in this symbolic way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He puts, amen, praise God, everything outside and then just lay them out there so he can see what to do. For the Lord had not caused it to rain upon the earth. He said, everything is dry. I want it to rain on it before I put it in the ground. Make it moist. Make it soft. Put the heart soft enough. Make it tender. Tenderize that heart before I put it in me. Tenderize that heart. Come on here. Y'all will hear me after a while. And there was not a man to till the ground. God ain't got nobody to do the work right now. I'm just going to lay all the work to the side. Till I call me somebody in to do the work. He said, I call the amen, praise God. The order to come into the house of the Lord. He called the apostles. He calls the prophet. He calls the teachers. Come on here. He calls manifestations to come in our lives. Amen. And he walked us through things. Some of us come with no qualification. We're out there in God. So I'm going to put you out there on the ground. But I'm not going to put you in the ground. I'm, I want you to tilt the ground till I call you. I want you to tell He said, I want you to learn how to live holy. Yes, learn it. I'm going to give you my breath. But you're going to have to learn my ways. I'll breathe in you. 
But you still going to have to ask me for the breath. Which is the Ruach of God. Hallelujah. That spiritual God. That God that sees beyond what you see. That God that, amen, praise God, deal in the spirit realm. That, amen, when we call things that be not as though they were. Let me tell you something. You got to have a king, my God, hindsight to see what God is saying to the church. You just can't get up here and reminisce and ramble and rumble. Amen. To my, he said, he said. There's a lot of things he did not say that some of y'all are amen and oh. God. See, if God ain't talking about money and giving all the time. He wants you to serve him. Live holy. See, holiness is right. People don't want to talk about that. Now they are saying, amen, we home and we sneaking and we do. Let me tell you something. Do you know what your dialogue look like? Do you know what your grades look like in God's eyesight? Oh yeah, I hear some of you all. Let me tell you, you've been in holiness too long. They keep talking about God is a forgiving God. He said, you know better. It's just like your mama again. I'm going there. You know better. It's some things you know better to do. Amen. Then you go out and do it and about oops, I made a mistake. There are laws and principles that work according to the power of God. Without faith, it is impossible to please him, he says. And so, amen, praise God. If you're trying to operate to my, I'm going to do this so this will happen. And I'm all, God said, you ain't got to make no kind of move for me. I know how to move things. I shift that. I set one king down just to raise up another one. You can't do that unless you try to do it evil. You can't do it. If God don't do it, it ain't going to be done. Either you in the hands of God or you in the hands of the devil. You cannot straddle the fence. We used to be told that all the time. And see, people now are striding, amen. You ever seen anybody try to get on a horse? Amen, praise God. And they start riding side saddle to the side. You can't stay on it like that. Ah, shot. You can't stay on God. You can't stay with God riding side saddle. You got to either get in the saddle, hold on to that strap, so it, when it's time for you to hold your horse, you don't fall off your horse. That was good, Apostle. That was good. Some of us have fallen off the horse. You know, there was a commercial that says, I've fallen and I can't get up. Many of you ain't trying to get up. Jesus. You just done fail. And you might as well be true to the game. You're cussing, drinking, you're smoking, you're doing a little bit of everything. You're doing, amen, what you had already in you. But let me tell you something. We're in a new season now. We're in a different dispensation of God that is moving by his power. See, folks don't want you to talk about holiness and righteousness. They want you to go to work tomorrow, take over the job. They want you to go in there and cuss everybody out. They want you to walk in there and say, I ain't doing nothing. I'm going to sit at my desk. I'm going to walk around in here and I'm not going to obey anybody. I ain't studying the supervisor. I ain't studying the president. I'm I'm just going to do my thing. What if they going to tell you? You're fine. Right. Now, why would you keep pranking with God and God don't fire you? Mm. Just because nothing ain't happened. Many folks keep running around saying, oh, God, get God understand. Let me tell you something. He is a merciful, understanding, loving God. When you are struggling to hold yourself together, but when you willfully sin, I'm going to take a drink. I'm getting high. I'm going to take a drink. That's it. Because many of you don't believe me. You keep trying, God. You hear that? There's a song that I got. I might send it to a lot of you. Try Jesus, don't try me. Y'all will catch that after a while. But God wants us to be more particular and more caring. Amen. Because God requires more out of you than that. Your standards should be lifted higher than that. Some of you don't have any standards. You don't care what. You just a loose, loose cannon. You just and, and you know what they used to call a man fast girls back in our day, loose women, loose girls, loose men, and loose bits. Maybe a man, a man, praise God, might be a whore to you, but most of the time, women love hoes. Uh oh, oh, who? Men love hoes. Women go home. And you, you get yourself all messed up and get yourself all torn up and then you be like, I know he was like that. Yes, she did. Whitney was in love with Bobby. That whole would dance and trip Whitney out and women's on the in the uh, I didn't really leave that alone. I will. I'm gone. Let me leave that alone because some things, amen. I got to hold to the next, and to the next, and to the next. So God planted everything that he wanted. 
but he did not put it in earth until it was the right timing of God. Did you hear me? God does not, amen, call you, amen, to go at once. He put you in at right timing. He'll call you to come, but he don't set you in order until, amen, he's tilted the ground. Times, amen, praise God. People don't want to be tilted. They don't want to be accountable. They don't want to, amen, hear. They want to just arrive because they look at everybody as this job ain't easy. This is not an easy job, but I love it. And see, that's one thing about people that stayed on jobs for 20 and 40 years. They love it. Girl is hard. Girl is this. And girl, but guess what? They done stuck it out. Then it's a well, it's about time for me to, yeah, listen, you done, I wouldn't come here if I were you, girl, you, but how, how in the world did you make it this long? Amen. That's my question to anybody. I ask some ladies that at school, you ain't going to like it here, but how long you been here? Why are you still here? Some of them just now retiring and, and, and I'm looking like you stuck it out. Sometime in life you cannot listen False accusations, yes. false information. You can't listen to people who have arrived and they don't want you to get there. All right, say that. You 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 can't, amen. Be with people who talk against what God's principles and laws are. They'll tell you to take a shortcut or a detour, and sometimes you'll find yourself at rock bottom. Yes. You'll start off. The Bible say it'll it it it'll, it'll it'll form. But there is nothing lasting to it. It won't prosper. Yeah. Have your fun now. But why stay in fun when you can, amen, have it all with God? There's a difference. And I'm going to say something going to make somebody laugh. Why you keep, oh, God, I got to say this. Oh, help me, God. I'm, 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 but I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you the truth. Why keep going and getting some use when you can get something new? Well, I'm just trying. I just go ahead and risk it all. Oh, God, that's good. That's all you got to do. One day, have you a mind to risk it all? I'm going to give you some brand spanking new. I want to smell. Well, I want to see what it smells like to have real brand new rubber. Everybody ain't sat on. And they done cleaned it and polished it up with all that stuff. It smell like it's new, but it really ain't new. Yes. Don't let the smell deceive you. Sometimes we can look at things in the natural so long and do it for so long. It become common, amen, sense in our nostrils. Yes. It makes sense to smell that, but my God, that leather like that. Or that cloth of that car like that. Because we're used to going in the same Direction. Sometimes God will alter your direction to come and turn a whole, make a whole new U turn and say, Listen, I don't want you to have that right there. I want you to get that right. And it'll scare some of your faith that you've been praying about. I'm going to get them on in the camp. You know how some of y'all pray about your faith? God do this and God do that. You got such a big mouth about it, but when God do it, it scares you so bad, you can't even go get it. Uh, okay, Apostle Bill. What are you saying to me? Now for many of us, we have believed God wants to give us, amen, our promises. Yes. He wants to, amen. He says we've come into a new day. He's restoring health back to us. We're going to lend and not borrow. Mm. Our child, our children is going to get back on course. Now, many of us have believed, we prayed, we stood in faith, but nothing seems to be changing. Nothing looks different. Any different. Nothing looks any different. Because what? It's still dark. It's still 9 o'clock. Yeah. It's still 10 o'clock. 12 o'clock come. No different. Nothing feels any different. Still dark outside. Yes, in my God, Bell. This is what I said to me. I wrote it down. My back and my legs are still hurting. Your healing sucks. <laughs> Your business hasn't improved. Job is still the same. Finances still look the same. 
This is what faith is all about. Everything looking the same. You can't see it. But you have to know you have passed. Y'all better catch this and write it. Go ahead and put it on. It is past midnight. You've gone from p.m. to a.m. Yes, and it's still dark outside in your p.m. to your a.m. Still dark. Yes, Saint, there's nothing changing. But the sun is on its way up. Healing is on the horizon. Promotions. Finances are going to over into overflow mode. The right people is coming in your life. Freedom is hitting your life. It is now just a matter of time before you see the light comes breaking forth. Now we must not be discouraged by the darkness. The dark doesn't mean nothing has changed. Mm. The dark is not a sign that things are not working. No, it's not. It's not a sign. That God didn't hear your prayer. Oh, y'all better get that. Thoughts will tell you you should have seen something by now. Mm, you should have felt a little better. I'm talking to somebody this morning. One of those companies should have called me by now. That addiction shouldn't still be this strong on my son, my daughter, my husband, my wife. Amen. Praise God. It shouldn't be that strong. My face seems to be in discouraged mode. Yes. Been there. Been there. Fight with it. Fight with it. I got to walk more by my faith than others. And speak things that be not as though they were more than others. Sometimes we will have to talk. Amen. Sometimes we will talk so much until we talk ourselves out of the miracle. Because 1130 at night doesn't look any different than midnight. <laughs> Everything you can see, feel, touch, smell looks just the same. There is no evidence that it's a new day. Because you feel just like you felt. Nine o'clock the other night, nine o'clock last night, then you're coming back into nine o'clock the night, and you still say every night, this is it. I'm hurting all night. I'm feeling bad all night. All night. Ain't, ain't nothing changing. But God's, God told me to tell you, yes, it yes. is. Yes. Yes. Psalms 50, 56 and 9. When I cried unto thee, then shall my enemies turn back. Y'all better hear this. Come on. You don't even realize you done already hit daylight. God said when you pray, when you cry unto him, my enemies shall turn back. What Satan, Satan should have done to you, God said, uh-uh. You might feel bad, you might be hurting, but he ain't going to do that. Mm. It's some things that God said, not that. Yeah. You might cause them to hurt, but not that. You're not going to kill them in that. I'm a God and I change now. It ain't day season. Yes. Now you can come up in season. But there's some things you can't do in that season. I don't permit you to do that. I don't permit you to take and have your way with them. I don't permit you to rape them. Yes. What I told them going to come to pass. You're not going to rape them. My God, while I'm looking not on my watch, God says. God said, my anointing. That's why you were thrown out of heaven. Because you don't have the power I got. God said, you can't praise me like they can. I get a wonder in my spirit when the church praise me. He said, I, the, the heavens wake up. Things turn around and then God said, I look at them when they praise me. I look up to them when they praise me. They look up to me. I am their God and I change now. Yes. He said, this I know. Listen to me. Listen to me. David said, when I cried unto thee, then shall my enemies turn back. This, this I know. For God is, is for me. The moment you pray, the tides of the battle turn. Yes. Watch this. The moment you pray, you go from p.m. to a.m. The moment you pray. 
Mm, 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 mm. You can't see it, but when you pray, you left the PM. <laughs> And you came into your AM. You can't see it. You can't see it. You can't see it. It's a new day. You may not be able to see any signs of victory. That's okay. Victory belongs or began in darkness. Victory begins in darkness. And we all go through these times where we don't think it's going to work out. Seasons where nothing is going is, is changing. We're being amen on our best behavior, but things are not changing at all. I love everybody. I'm trying to do this God, every time I pray so loud. Every time I go through this and say this and listen, if I can get you to back your prayer up and cut it off, I got you. But God said, uh-uh, I'm gonna keep them crying. And see, sometimes it doesn't seem like, amen, praise God, we cry so much and cry so much and it look like nothing ain't happened. God says, if I keep them crying, they, they won't pay enough attention to the enemy. They'll keep crying on me. They'll keep making a way, amen, to get to me. Mm. They'll make that sacrifice to come on in at 9 o'clock this morning. They won't be worried about all this other stuff. Standing in faith. And looking for change only to feel frustrated. Anybody feel like that today? And alone. It's tempting to think that God has forgotten about you. We're always going to have this obstacle. But I tell you this morning, the fact is, light is on the way. What God promised you is in route. Mm, 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 mm. You may have struggled in the in an area a long time. You've been believing for things to change in your marriage, your finance, your family, your children, your life, your health. It seems permanent. Uh, woo, it seems like it's permanent, but God is saying you've already entered a new day. You've already passed midnight. You can't see it yet, but victory is on the way. Yeah. Now let's work this one right here together. Let's work this together. Let's work it together. Instead of complaining about the dark, have a new perspective. The dark means, watch this, the sun is on the way up. The sun is on the way up. The promise is about to come forward. Who can stop the sun from rising each morning? Mm -mm -mm. Who can keep light from breaking forth over the horizon? Isaiah 40, 18, 20, 21, and 31. And I'm not going to read all of that to you. Amen. Praise God. If you would just go ahead and write it down for your leisure. Isaiah 40, 18, 20, and 30 through 31. All of the forces of hell cannot stop what God has ordained for you. They cannot keep what he has promised from coming to pass. I don't care who get in the way. I don't know who I, I don't know who I'm preaching to this morning. I don't care how they seem like they have superseded, but God said, watch me, I'm gonna make this thing feel like to them the Tasmanian devil just come passing. Mm. Oh God. In the face of darkness, in the face of your enemies, he said, I want you to prepare your table. Prepare your table in the dark. Mm. Uh, I don't see it God What in the world I'm preparing He said you're preparing to come out Make preparations for coming out I'm going to overwhelm you Do you, you listen, listen I heard this just then This right here is off the prayer You talking about being stressed You wait till God bless you You're going to try to give it back Lord I can't hardly take it Take the cake and eat it enemy Eat that cake, anime. God, so I'm going to overwhelm you with miracle signs and wonders and blessings shall come upon thee. He said, these blessings been chasing your crazy self down for a minute and it ain't caught you. Because you keep calling it the devil. Who seemed like, who seemed like the devil? Did you see that? Yeah. So the devil come. The, the devil said, I'm over here minding my business. I can't even get close to you. I could get close to you, but you smell like Jesus. You got a scent on you. 
Rosha didiosa. He said, then is that he take that hedge now. See, that's what he kept telling God to about Joe. He said, get that hedge of protection away from him. I can take him out. But God said, I called Joe. Joe didn't call me. I called Joe. He said, I, have you considered, Satan said, have you considered, God said, wait, wait a minute now, wait a minute, don't try Jesus, don't try him, he said, I'm telling you, he said, don't you try to do nothing, now, that's my, my anointed, he said, that's one I call, greater works than me shall he do. When you have been called to do a work, I don't care whether it's small or some people call ushering a small work and you know the laboring part, amen, the administrative part. I've and everybody I've looked at over these last year or so since this pandemic, they want to be a prophet. Some folks ain't seen spit. They ain't seen nothing. Some folks ain't heard nothing. They going off of what somebody else said, they mimicking. Everything to my God told them just because Apostle Bell said it. You don't know what he said to you. Some things he might quote it a little different. And I get so sick of people talking about, well, I heard that too. Where were you when you heard it? Yeah. Where were you when you heard it? You can't be cussing and hurt it. You can't be in somebody else's bed and hurt it. You can't be backbiting and lying and hurt it. You can't turn up a bottle and drink it and hurt it. Because God ain't going to dwell in an unclean place to hurt it. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, well, he rained on the just as well. He talking about the sinner's nut. You are a saint. You're supposed to be a saint. You're supposed to be holy and divine. Your orders are different. The steps of a good man or or you got orders from the general. Yes. From the chief apostle above all apostles. That's why I don't like folks to call me no chief apostle, because I believe in the chief chief. Alright. Just in case this flesh mess up. And folks don't like me, and more folks don't like me, and folks, more folks don't want to fool with me. I am that that I am. Oh God. Title of nothing. I am that that I am. He said, amen, praise God in that scripture. Amen. We want you to read, amen, at your leisure. Hell, all the hell forces or the forces of hell cannot stop what God has ordained for you. They cannot keep you from what God has promised you going to come to pass. In the face of darkness, when, you're do when you don't see, it may still be dark outside, but I refuse to go by what I see. I will remain steadfast unmovable, always abounding in, abounding in the love and the word of the Lord and his truth. I will believe that I have passed my midnight. I believe. I got to believe. I got to fight for my belief. See, sometimes we don't fight for our belief. We fight for other stuff. We don't fight for our belief and our, and, and amen, our trust. We don't fight for our faith enough. Fight for it. Fight for Acts 16 25, amen, through 16, uh, 25 through 26. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and everyone's bands were loose. That means my healing is coming. Breakthroughs are coming Deliverance are coming Abundance is coming Victory is coming Finances are much more than enough Are breaking through midnight The zone life is upon me The much more than enough Y'all don't hear me thank, thank him in the middle of darkness Good God Almighty Praise him despite of what's trying to stop you Give God a praise And it is your season to win I don't know. This is that song, y'all. It's my season to win, but I'm going to say it to you. It's your season to win. I don't know when, and I don't know how, but it's your season to live. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Good God Almighty. It may, come on here, seem too big for you. All right. You could never overcome it. Mm. 
but it's never too big for your God. He's already, he already has a solution to that problem. If you were to ever turn and say, God, what must I do to be saved? See, some people take that scripture and they think about, amen, praise God, just being saved, saved. But God, you, 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 you want to talk to God about being saved. Yes. What must I do to be saved? Because if I mess up, I ain't going to be saved. That's it. What must I do in this situation that I'll stay saved and remain, remain steadfast? We don't ask God those questions. We just go after sinning. I'm just going to do this because I'm just tired and I'm just da, 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 da. This is why, amen, judgment has begun at the house of God. Because we don't judge our situations we get in. God says, you don't judge it, I'm going to judge you. It ain't the preacher and the church judging you. It's God. When you get mad, you get mad with the wrong place, son. That's God over there tapping in you and touching you saying, come in. You ever heard your mama, amen, praise God, in the middle of stuff and she wasn't even in the house? And you say, oh, did you hear my mama say something? Did you hear that? And nobody Amen. said, uh-uh. But you heard that voice. Right. That's the way God is. You'll, you'll know it's God. Don't play crazy. Yes. Don't be on the stoop part and listen to my, I don't know whether that was him or not. You know when he said money. Yes. Yes. You know when he said don't sin. You heard it. You just tried to ignore him. That trouble can't keep you from your purpose. The setbacks in your finances, anxiety, depression, these things are not permanent. Yes, yes. It may be dark now you have had some bad breaks or brought amen trouble on yourself. Right. You think you are stuck? No. Mm -hmm. Get ready. God is not through with you or that situation yet. Right. What God has ordained for your life will come to pass Soon it's yeah. going to be daybreak. That sometimes, amen, unusual. God said that sometime or that something is going to be an unusual thing. Some things out of the ordinary is going to happen. God said, I'm going to thrust you into your purpose. Some of you all have not arrived to your purpose yet. God said, I'm going to thrust you in it. And I'm going to take a strong general to get you on up and get you there. Some things, amen, will suddenly change. Things, amen, in your favor. God says it's going to be a suddenly. Did you see what happened to Paul and Silas when they started singing and praising God? Suddenly the change broke. Paul and Silas had change around them for defeat. God standing outside of the prison gates and it looked like they would be put away. And we never heard them from them again. But listen, we wouldn't have never heard from them again. If they had not looked at all of the mishap and all those chains wrapped around them, all of the odds were against them. But people don't have the final say in your life. Mm. Them guards didn't have the final say to Paul and Silas. Yes. What you're up against may be bigger, more powerful, more influential, but you and God are a majority. Yes. Ain't no match. Him being for you is more than the world being against you. There is not an obstacle he can't move. There is not a sickness he can't heal. Not a family problem he can't solve. Finances he will not restore to greater. He said none of that going to shake me in word. I don't even have to move. I speak. He can break up that old mindset. Woo! God Almighty, I wish somebody heard me this morning. There may be a period of darkness where it doesn't seem and look like anything is happening. You may have areas where it is dark right now. Nothing is changing. That's a test that looks like a mess. <clears throat> Will you praise him in the darkness? Will you thank him? That what he promises on the way in the darkness, will you talk it? Would will you talk it, my God, while it's turning? Mm, 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 mm. So he can turn it around. Will you talk it? Can you talk the talk and walk the walk? Keep on saying it. It don't make sense to you. Your mind ain't got a bit of sense. <laughs> That's the only way we tell them. 
Ain't got a real sense. Just, just keep doing and keep talking and telling you. Why won't your mind say to you one day? It is a possibility it could happen. It is. Now, it, it might be impossible to man, but it is possible. It might be impossible to man, but it is possible to God. It could happen on July 4th. This could be my birthday. Ah! It could be my birthday. My new morning has come. I'm stepping out of PM into AM. My morning has come. Mm, 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 mm. Don't focus on what you feel. Your feelings don't always tell you the truth. I'm raising my hand because I sometimes walk in that. Anybody ever got up and was sick and that feeling hit you and you just gravitated to feeling? And then all of a sudden you wake up and you say, PM. AM. I feel all right. I'm going to keep it moving. I'm going I'm to keep it moving until I make it move. Yes. I'm going to keep it moving until I make it move. Sometimes you got to make things happen if it's according to your faith. So be it done unto you. That was good there too, I, I, I read Bell. It, it, don't focus on what you feel. Your feelings don't always tell you the truth. Your emotions will try to convince you that it's never going to happen for you. Your mind will tell you all the reason it is not going to happen. Your mind will tell you everything. It'll take you all the way back 10 years and 10 years ain't got nothing to do with these tender years. Say that. <clears throat> 10 years has nothing to do with your tender of 10 minutes with God. Yes, ain't got nothing to do with where you are now. Some of y'all still stuck with Abbott and them. Leave them alone. They ain't stuck. You don't want you. Say that. You snooping and drooping. They ain't running around sick. God, don't you know pressure and, 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 and being upset and frustration keep your pressure up? Yes. It'll keep you crazy. Stuck over there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get them when I see them. I'm going to get them when I see them. And you just still stuck in I'm going to. I'm going to tell you this this morning. Get moving with your new life. Yes. Get your crazy self up and stop that following with everything that doesn't happen back there. They don't care. They living their best life. You know, there was a song I told you, them first verses I like. I think Snoop and somebody sung it about, I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you. We, we can't do that. We can't keep going back and forth. I did it. I've done it. I tried it. I go back. I go forward. I get mad. I get happy. I get this. I get that. I've gotten even. <laughs> I said, mm -mm, not on my watch. Today is the day that the Lord has made, yes, and I will rejoice. Why should I waste all my day on thinking about you? You're not that important. You ain't all of my thoughts. You ain't all of what my life is entailed. If that's all, God is a small, unjust God. That all of my head got to be wrapped up inside of you. And you didn't finish school. I got my education and you, what? I'm just using it as an example. Some people, amen, praise God, have gone to school and they didn't get their diploma or whatever. But guess what? They're smart, they're intelligent, they're sweet, they're kind. And I'm not saying I'm using stuff for example for before some of y'all, but I ain't got minds, but I just shut your mouth. Uh uh, cause I ain't talking to you. I'm using things as example. See, some of y'all, amen, you go over to the deep end too much. You, you, you got to understand when we start using different analogies for survival, those are things God will give us the strength to gravitate so we can hold on for dear life. I, I, I have to, I have to make Irene laugh because I know what God got Irene from. Anybody know where you came from is the best and people don't wake that piece of dirt there up. Do not shake the dirt to the left. That piece of the dirt needs to stay over there in that dirt. Because if you ever wake that piece of the dirt up, 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 it ain't going to be pretty. Y'all better hear me this morning. You have to understand, you have to talk to yourself in joyous moments. See, I try not to talk mean and mad to Irene because 
She is a real trip. How rain can go. I was waiting on something. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it, but I was waiting on some stuff to pop off. I was getting red, dead, red, and red, and Freddy. I felt like I was gonna be Freddy Krueger. <laughs> oh, y'all, I'm big now. Don't be talking about it. Some of y'all is worse than Freddy. You just come in there. You come in there with them big old long things to cut and, and cuss. And you ain't stopped yet. And the pandemic ain't scared nothing at you. Some of y'all just went right on to what you was doing. Amen, praise God. In your thought, you went out there in the street and got it. Guess what? Now you can't hardly shake it off. And you think, well, when church starts or when somebody, I ain't coming back to church, I child, don't nobody care. You think Satan is all upset because you ain't coming back. He said, I got them, now I'm going to go get another bus load. And this time I'm going to get six buses to the one. Because the Bible says this hell has enlarged itself. And it ain't doing it for the sinners, it's making room for the saints. Hate to say it, but yup, yup. There is an anointing in your life and Satan don't want you to gravitate and hold on to that that God has built on the inside. There is some things that God is shaking inside of you and because you don't have a, a ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church, you are missing God. You are missing some of the best years of your life and it's called time wasted. You can be with folks and they time wasters. They become so, amen, praise God, indulge in doing foolery until you can't grow. And then the little bit of growth you have Come on, you looking like a midget Jesus. And no disrespect to midgets No disrespect to anybody But you be looking short you. Then you come around Amen, and you on the short bus And you ask the person, why, why are you looking at me Because you don't smell like Jesus no more right. Your persona has changed mm. He said, Thomas How long have I been with you And you did not know me then How can you miss me now in this pandemic, how in the world did the saints get where they are in this God? Jesus. Some of them. How? He said, how long did I stay and I stuck it out with you? I was the one that performed miracles. I sent you somebody that was after my own heart. He said, I didn't send you just anything and anybody. I sent you somebody that had compassion and will love you to life and keep you motivated. Keep your spirit up. Strengthen you. Drive you. I sent somebody that will love you like I would. Yeah, he sent pastors after his own heart. Pastors, leaders came out to bless your life. And God said, this is the thanks that I get. This is your season. This might be the darkest hour for you. I'm preaching to somebody this morning. It might be real dark, but I'm telling you, it is turned to the a.m. It's morning time. Yes, it has. Don't focus on what you feel. Look, walk by your face. It's a new day. It may still be dark out, but I know your amen, praise God. If you were to get your a song in your heart, if you were to get you a praise in your mouth, daybreak is coming. I don't care how long you've been waiting. Your weeping may endure for a night. But your joy is coming you, midnight. <laughs> Love ye and remain faithful. Remain steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the love of God. Your victory will begin in your darkness. Your victory will begin in the dark. Your darkness. To everyone that have heard the message and the word this morning, amen. Praise God. We want to thank you. We appreciate you so much for the word of truth. We appreciate you. Amen. Praise God. How God has brought you here. Amen. Thus far by his faith. We appreciate God. Amen. Amen. That the glory be revealed. Amen. And he said, when I be lifted up, we will draw. I thank God that this morning that God has drawn some of you back to his, amen, safety art. Amen. Get back into the arm of safety, the art of Christ. Get back where you're supposed to be. Don't let the enemy tell you, you're all right over there. You're not all right. You're 
out the wheel. You're out of the wheel. When you play baseball, when you play basketball, if you get outside of the line, you are out. You are foul. You are whatever. They, amen, praise God, call, amen, praise God, correction to you to get back in. I watched the, the changing of the guard, and I watched this on yesterday just to see, amen, praise God, how if you get out of order, how they, amen, praise God, put you back in order. They don't mind, amen, taking their guns and holding it and say, get back in order. Do not come across the line. Sometimes you got to tell yourself, get back in line. Don't be scared to talk to yourself. Don't be the wheel of your own self in your own foolishness. Tell yourself to get back, get back, get back. Get back to God. Your timing, your midnight, your day has come and arrived. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you. And God has anointed you to preach good tidings and great joy to you yourself before you preach to others. You got to preach it to yourself. That's why I tell people a lot of times, don't say nothing to me if you're not obedient with yourself. Don't try to tell me how to work it and you ain't working it yourself. If you not plowed and tilted the ground, don't tell me. You got to do this. I don't want to hear you because you ain't got over your hate for this. You nasty to everybody. Why are you going to tell me, uh, the Apostle Bell, you need to do this because you hurt me. You done hurt everybody you can hurt. And that's the only way I got to get you straight out is to tell you the truth. And the truth hurts. Uh uh huh. A good parent will go ahead and spank you and say, Listen, baby, I love you. Go in there and get mama a glass of water. You know you be mad. You don't want to go get it. But God is good this morning. He has arrived in your life. He has blessed you. Amen. Praise God. Cole. Amen. Cole Foster is on. Teresa Harris get back. Amen. Tamika Sinclair. Amen. It's on. Start with self. Amen. Praise God. This is a blessing. Uh, Elder Pelham is on this morning. Praise the name of God. We thank God for you. Amen. Praise God. I believe. Ah, glory to the Lamb of the living God. Hallelujah. Latanya Walker, Dr. Walker is on this morning. Chris Morrell is on this morning. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Dr. May Foster Dixon is on. Hey, Gail, and you're on this morning. Gail Hurst, amen. One of my babies from Millersville. Pastor Barbara Jackson is on this morning. Amen. Anita Hall is on this morning. I'm working but watching. Go ahead. Amen. Praise God. Work and watch. Watch and work because God can bless you while you're working. You don't know what he can work out for you, Anita. But, uh, Dion is on this morning, praise God. Kendra Hasty, amen, it's morning time. Katie, uh, hey, Miss Brown, how you doing, Shug? Hey, I'm going to say that. Crystal is on this morning, amen. God bless you, amen. Crystal is on, it's morning time, Chris. Amen, yes, it is, yes, it is. It is morning time, amen. Devante, hey, sweetie pie. God bless you, sweetheart. Devante is on this morning. Uh, Bishop Philip. Uh, Corina is on. Amen. Bishop Lamar, I'm so sorry. Bishop Lamar, I be thinking about my sons, and, and, and they so sweet together. Amen. Praise God. I call one the other, the other one the other one. Kenyatta is on this morning. Hey, Kenyatta, you and Sammy. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Robert Isom is on. God bless you. Amen. All the way from the, is it Carolina? Amen. Praise God. We thank God for you this morning being on. Amen. Bless the name of the living God. Go on up that last one. Hit that last one on up. I see that one. There's somebody else up there. It's true. Uh, Chris Morrell. Amen. God. Amen. Tamika is on. A prophetess Teresa Harris is on. Amen. Cora Foster. Hey, Cora, how you doing? I've been praying much for you. Oh, I love you. You and Dr. Dixon. Amen. We love you all. Get back. Amen. Get back. Get back. Yes, ma'am. Get back. Mother Hammock is on. Get back. Amen. Praise God. Lisa Hammock is on. Amen. We thank God for my babies being on. Who? Mama Leek is on this morning. Praise God. God bless you for being on this morning. Tijuana is on. Hey, Tijuana. Tijuana, Tijuana, Tijuana. You know what I'm saying that for. Tijuana, Tijuana. I know you're laughing. I love you too, Steve, with that big old heart up there. That's so sweet. Amen. Praise God. Great word, Apostle Devontae is on. Hey, Angel St. Clair. Amen. Praise God. 
Amen. Oh, Tijuana. Amen. Praise God. Tijuana, I got to say that again. Stacy Melvin is on this morning. God bless you, Stacy. I miss you so much, Stacy. I miss you so much. Get back on the ark of safety. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Doc. You and Cora. Amen. Praise God. Being on. Angel. Hey, Angel. She said, hey, mommy. Amen. Praise God. We bless you this morning. Amen. You and your terrible brother. Amen. Bless the Lord. I love them too, but I can't stand when all of them come together. Amen. They are like two things to me being pulled. Amen. We thank the Lord. Amen. For all of you that are on. If I didn't call your name and I missed you, amen. Praise God for not calling your name out. Amen. We certainly appreciate your time spent this morning. But you tongue tone. Hey, prophetess. Antonio Mason, amen, that's uh, uh, what you call him, son. Who? Okay, from Bishop, uh, from the Apostle St. Clair's Church, amen, praise God, we thank the Lord, amen, for you, baby, amen, we used to call him John John, that's what I call him, John John, he's in service, amen, I want to say he was somewhere near Germany, somewhere, I forgot where he was. Amen. But we appreciate you. We're getting ready to take up our offering. If I did not, if I did not call your name and I can't see it, this thing will run back so far and then it won't. Listen, Pastor Jackson, what you laughing at? <laughs> Something I said. Hey, Stacy. I love my Stacy, y'all. I love my Stacy. I miss Stacy, y'all. So much. Amen. Used to do the crazy stuff. Crazy Stacy. I used to say, Stacey, sit, sit down, please, somewhere. If you would, if you would this morning. Now, this is the thing that the Lord gave me. I, I kept trying to figure out why are you using odd numbers. And this is what he told me on last evening. He said, I'm getting ready to do an odd thing. I said, what? He said, I'm going to do, to do an odd thing. It ain't going to make sense to you. Some people like, amen, praise God, even numbers and even this. God said, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. God bless you, prophetess Whitehead. Good, good to see you, baby. Good to see you. Amen. Love you. Amen. Praise the name of God. I miss traveling with prophetess so I can fuss. I got rusty now. Reginald Stevens is on. Amen. I got rusty. Amen. Praise God that I can really get and tell off and then he tries to come back and use it as a prophetic that he tell me what. And, and, but yeah, mm -hmm. let me tell y'all something he did. He had made his little mind up and he had was going. Amen. Praise God to be gone about two or three weeks and da 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 da. And I was sitting there and I said, Lord, you know how things are with my body and how I can't drive some places. And I tell you, God, shut that boy's hole. Shut that whole two weeks off. Shut it down. Thank you, Tom Tom. I'm telling you, Tom Tom, he come. I was in the doctor's office. He come when I come out and he was looking. He said, I want you to say it to God. I don't know. I don't told y'all. I don't told y'all. Hey, Samarian, you're on. We thank you. We love you. He said, my whole trip gone for the rest of the month. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Mm -hmm. my God. I told y'all don't prank with me. Now, I got some stuff up my sleeve. <laughs> told y'all he was so out of it. About, it wasn't part of my trip. It was my whole trip. I said, hey. Okay. <laughs> God said, I'm going to do something odd. Odd numbers going to bring odd blessings and miracles you wouldn't expect in an odd season. Miracles you didn't expect to come. Odd season. You think it's going to be a blessing, God said, but it's going to be a miracle. I'm going to interrupt everything going wrong so I can make it right. Odd numbers. Odd numbers. Yes, yes, yes. Laugh at him, Chris, because I was intended to call you and tell you personally how things had worked for me. I said, yeah, I'm going to tell it all. Hey, Miss Jerry. Miss Jerry is so sweet, honey. and sure. I love me some shoes in this jury. And hey, my Roxy. I love you so much. Can I get you all this morning to sow me a seed of $83? Now, the three, 
is resurrection. Odd, odd, odd numbers. 83, 83, 83. Okay, okay. Okay, Chris, gotcha. Gotcha, Chris. Odd numbers, odd season. And listen, I'm not prophesying because of this money. I believe. I don't know how. I'm going to wait on him. I love you too, Miss Julie. Listen, that offering is seventy-two dollars quickly. I mean, eighty-two. I'm sorry, eighty-two. I'm looking at something. Eighty-three. Get me right. Get me. Ready? Tell up. Go. Eighty-three. Eighty-three. Odd. Odd numbers. Eighty-three. I want all of Rama. This morning, those of you who have been walking faith with me to try it. Everybody on this morning, try God. Just, just try it. Just just try it. Don't think about it. Hey, Sister Abby again. I want you to know I know you're on faithfully every Sunday. And we want to tell you thank you for being on faithfully. Amen. Praise God. We thank God, amen, for the efforts being made. Huh? Several of you that are on the line, I thank you so much, babies. If I can't see your name, it's kind of difficult. Amen. Praise God to see all of the names because it stops. Amen. Walking in faith. Uh, Katie, amen. Miss Brown says she's walking in faith. Now, I want you to cash app at, at dollar sign, R H E M A I N T E R. Dollar sign, R H E M A I N T E R. So in, so in quickly. Amen. Praise God. I got so many that are so in. Thank you. Give a five, give a five, or push pay. Give a five or push pay. You can't get cash app, dollar sign, R H E M A I N T E R. Let's do give a five or push pay. Amen. This morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, go and have a wonderful 4th of July today. Uh, we did ours on yesterday, and truly, truly, and from the bottom of my heart, I enjoyed my family. I enjoyed the family, amen, praise God, outside of the family, amen, but they are family. They were not bloodline family, but I'm telling you, amen, Miss Williams' staff came in like a mighty Russian. We, we laughed. We dance, we clown, we cut up. And you know what? You know what I love the most? They wouldn't judge them. They laughed at me. I laughed at them. I told them off and I, they didn't sit not a word. They just laughed at me. I'm going to chop one up. What's, what that, is that Miss Redden? I'm going to chop Miss Redden. Then I look, amen, praise God, hallelujah. My son was cutting up. He hadn't got me back, so I had to slap him in the head. Then my sister-in-law was crazy. Woo, she was dancing. I thought she had them drink some, but wasn't nothing there drinkable. Them Cokes and, 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 and water had them. I don't know whether the caffeine in that Coke had them got Linda. I don't know. But Linda was dancing in a carrot on her. Got out there with her. Amen. And all of a sudden, we both was out of breath. So we had to go somewhere and sit down. And, and, and then the young kids got it. But we enjoyed our family eating. Amen. We had enough food. There was a group there. Amen. Praise God. What was their name? Lake City. These were singers that I mean, renowned, well-known singers came in and we fed them a little bit and hugged on them and talked to them. And they was performing yesterday in Macon, um, and, and and they came and just enjoyed themselves, laughing at us. Yes. Amen. So we thank God. We, yes, we did, Miss Brown. We had a good time. We had a good time, and I thank God for it. Amen. Don't forget to sow your seed. Amen. Go and have fun today with your family um, and, and, and have a great 4th of July. And let me tell y'all something. Don't get mad with whoever cooked the salad. If you don't like it, just don't eat it. Don't eat it. If the barbecue ain't right, don't say nothing. Don't eat it. Don't start something. Leave it alone. Don't be the argumentative person this year. Just rest your mind and your heart. Just enjoy. Somebody said, well, Pastor, we ain't going to do that. Some folks are killing folks today. Yeah. 
They already got it in their mind. They just going to start drinking and they're going to hurt somebody. My prayer is that nothing, amen, out of the ordinary or extraordinary would come upon us. That God won't stop and God won't let us pass through it. Pass through some things and allow God to bless your whole life. Grow up in some areas that, amen, got you childish. David said, when I was a child, I spake as a child. And when I got older, I put away childish ways. You can do it. God bless you and we thank you. Kisa Lewis said, it. what did Kisa say? I'm going to get, I'm going to look at Kisa because I want her to look back at me. Kisa, yes, thank you, family. I enjoyed you all. We did. Look at my face, Kisa. Did you see it? <laughs> Kisa laughed this morning. We love you. God bless you, Raymond. We'll see you very soon. God bless you.